Holy Land, a David and Goliath type story plays out every day between Palestinian children and the Israeli army. Each year, the Israeli military arrests and prosecutes about 700 children. DCI Palestine, part of the International Defense for Children organization, supports and advocates for the rights of Palestinian children by investigating and documenting grave human rights violations, holding both Israeli and Palestinian authorities to account, and providing legal services to children in urgent need. Children, like Najwa's sons, Osama, who was 13 years old, and Musa, who was 15 years old, when the Israeli Defense Forces arrested them in the middle of the night, alleging that the children were throwing stones. يعني كل ألم يعني الطفل 13 سنة مكيد برجليه وبعدين بدخل يعني ملبسينه بدلة أكبر منه وأكبر من عمره و... لا ممنوع نهائيا يكرب علي ولا حتى أسلم علي ولا أحضنه ولا ولا أحكي معه For Palestinian children, 52% of arrests take place at night. 75% are subject to physical violence by soldiers and 97% have no access to a lawyer or parent during these interrogations. DCI Palestine works with children to understand and claim their rights when arrested. Well, among our ro uh, role uh, is to raise the awareness of children about their rights uh, and about human rights in general, to raise the awareness of professionals who are working with children, and also lobby in order to enact laws, which is in the best interest of the child. In the West Bank, Palestinians and Israeli settlers are treated very differently. For throwing a stone, for example, Palestinians will be tried in military court, while Israeli settlers are tried in civilian court. Palestinian children are often intimidated, coerced, or threatened into signing a confession written in Hebrew, which they can neither read or understand. 99% of the cases against Palestinians result in conviction. For Israeli settlers, the rate is 8%. When they return home, children experience nightmares, bedwetting, problems at school, social withdrawal, or increased aggressiveness. After their release, DCI puts children in touch with professional services for counseling and psychosocial care to help them go back to school and to reintegrate into society. By supporting DCI Palestine means that you support uh, families who have lost their uh, children, uh, who their children are behind bars, without any uh, legal services or any help. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church of Canada help ensure that Palestinian children have the right to fair and just treatment in the occupied Palestinian territories and to a safe and just future. Thank you and please continue to give. <laughs>